Hello everybody, it is Safety Security Alert here today, and today is going to be a review of the EST-278A-REL. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started with this review. So let's just go ahead and first take an overview of this pull station. So before we go into everything, uh, this is the pull station that looks a lot like, that most of you probably know. Uh, it's the classic EST SIGA series pull stations, um, or the 278B. This is what we all know. This is the fire alarm version of this pull station. This is the version that we all know, and that's the one that we're reviewing today. See, this says lift handle and the pulse of fire, and this is an addressable model right here. But we're going to go ahead and focus on the yellow one. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. So on the overview, it looks the, the body is about the same as the body on the regular fire alarm version. So we have the same flap here that says lift and pull handle, the same du dual action piece that, that uh, most of these have. And then if you see right there, it says pull for manual release. So this can be for an agent release system. And at the bottom it says GE and EST. And this is a sticker, so when people rebrand these devices, they can easily do that. And that is the same with these. The sticker can come off. So we're going to go ahead and uh, look over. So we have the key on the side here. Um, a lot of versions of this pole station and the other pole station uh, use the screwdriver flathead on the very top here. So you can reset it like that. But this version came with the key lock, which takes a standard uh, EST Cat 45 key, which we used to open it. Uh, so we'll go ahead and go to the back now. Now going onto the back of this device, we have four terminals, as you can see. And this is a conventional device, this, this one. We have four terminals, and a lot of times when people design these pole stations with the four terminals on the back, only two of them are actually used. Uh, but in this case, this actually is a dual contact pull station, which basically means that the button, the, or the switch, I'm sorry, the switch has two separate sets of contacts inside. So instead of your just normal two wire goes to the next device or end of line resistor kind of thing, you can have two complete different circuits for this. So for two different circuits or two different things, which is pretty cool. And uh, if you want to see, this is the little diagram right there, and it shows the wiring. And if you look underneath there, you can see the separate contacts from the switch. So looking down closer here, you can see that right where the handle goes here, it says glass rod. So under these two little clips here, if you get this brand new, it should come with a glass rod and a lot more. You just, you just simply insert your glass rod into these two spots here, and it would basically make it so this pull station would be harder to pull, and it would ensure people to only pull this in case of an emergency. So when they pull it, they'll feel that it will be a lot harder. So it'll cause, um, it'll prevent more false alarms. It'll prevent false alarms. And on the back of the inside here, uh, you can see that there's a little bit of instructions on how to test the device um, and the uh, more warning stickers and the FM improved stickers and even more. So when you are closing up this device, when you open it, the handle is automatically going to fall down. So it does, and also it does not mean that the device is in alarm when you open the device and the handle flops down because it did not flip the switch down. That's just how it is because it's not it's not spring loaded and it's not against the switch. So when you're closing it, you need to leave the key in and leave it unlocked. And when you're closing it, before you shut it, you need to lift this, hold the handle, close it up and hold it, and then and then lock it, and then it's good. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to activate the device in case of an emergency. So the way you're going to want to do it, if you see it mounted on the wall. You're going to want to go up to it and just read the directions. Lift, then pull handle. So you're just going to lift this little thing up and you're just going to pull it down like that. And it clicked the switch inside. So now the system would be an alarm and it would either discharge 
or it will do the delay. To reset the pull station, you're going to want to take the key, same thing as opening it normally. You just take the key and open the pull station, and then if you can see, you just flip the little, you just flip the little switch back down, and then put the handle up when it's open, and then close it. And there you go, that's pulling and resetting the pull station. Alright, so we are going to go ahead and test out this pull station now. Um, I wired it up to my Wheelock Exceder LED strobe. And uh, it came in an amber color. And yes, this is a uh, strobe only. It's a general alarm, basically. Uh, but it's in amber color, so I thought it would fit with this. So we're going to go ahead and pull it. I hooked it up to two 12-volt batteries and the 12-volt 7 amp hour batteries. So we're going to go ahead and pull it. So now the alarm is going off, and now um, if this were hooked up to a manual release point, which is what it says, so it probably would be, the uh, CO2 or foam would be shooting out through the building right now, and if this was a horn strobe, the horns would be going off throughout the building. So we are now going to reset the pulse station. We are going to stick in our Cat45 key on the side, and normally we would silence the panel and do all that, and then reset the pulse station. the switch down and the alarm would continue going if it no the strobe would continue flashing but it won't now and we have reset the pull station and it is back to normal alrighty so we're going to go ahead and test out this pull station one more time and this time I have it hooked up to my system sensor L series this particular one is the P2GRL uh, and I have the uh, amber lens cover on it which just sticks right on here's the box for it, it is the lens A2 so, yep, and stay tuned to see more reviews of different devices and this L-Series. So, I was hoping to use the white version of this, which is the P2GWL with the amber color cover, um, or the P2WL, which is the bigger version, but those weren't available right now, so this is all I was able to use, besides this strobe here. So, we are going to go ahead and test it out uh, and see it with a horn strobe in three, two... One. So we're going to reset it and turn off the alarm. And there we go. That's it. Alright, so that pretty much wraps up the video today of the review of the EST278A-REL pull station. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope you learned something. Uh, please, please do expect some new videos coming soon. Um, I know I haven't been uploading a lot. I've just been very, very busy, which is a common excuse. But I've been very, very busy with a lot of things going on. But uh, I was able to make a video. Um, and also, if you are, guys are wondering about where all of the system tests are, uh, I'm pretty sure I already said this, but the home system was is taken was taken down um, a long time ago now. And all of the uh, systems down in my basement are have been taken down because we're doing some renovations and cleaning. But hopefully soon, I will try to get up some new systems, and if not, I'll make new reviews and I'll make new demonstrations, etc. So thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed, and see you all next time. Bye.